Not alive. We're up. Yes. 2021, here we are. Just we're like still that. alive. Just like that bang we hear. Hey, this is not their new song, is it? I know, is it? What is it? This is a bit of uh, Kid Rock. You know how I like to start each show with a, a song? Yeah. Kiss Me Pretty. Bit of, uh, bit of the old Kid Rock. Happy New Year. So, Happy New Year to everyone out yeah, there. And um, hope you... Uh, and all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Oh. Let's uh, dispense with that now. Go, Lockie. Hey. How are you, mate? G'day, Daniel. How are you, mate? Here we go. We've got a Happy few New people Year. popping up already. Yeah. Yeah, how are you, mate? Plenty. Glenn. How are you, guys? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you all had a, a ripping uh, Chrissy and New Year. Yeah. And all that sort of yeah. stuff. What did you get up to? Oh, what was, good what to was... get a break. Yeah? Yeah, good to have a break and just chill out and it was a bit... Over everything in the last year, I reckon. What, most people, horrible song, Lock. He reckons. Is that what he said? Oh, yeah. come on, Lock. That's all right. Yeah. Come on, good day, Shell. Hey, I'll tell you what. You, you guys are going to be noticing some changes tonight. You would have already, but we'll talk to you more about that in a minute. Yeah. Hey, so great feedback on the uh, Christmas spectacular. The um, took off. Yeah, the took off. Yeah, it was and brilliant. Wasn't it? We congratulations had a to our, our winner again. The big fella, his trophy is uh, is being organised as we speak. Yeah. Um, so Sorry, I'm just double checking something. Got yeah, that no. organised and we're good to go. So, yeah. hey, that was uh, a night, wasn't oh, it? Really, we had a, a few drinks after. We had a, just a couple of drinks afterwards, couple. and one bloke in particular had it. Yeah, no, you're stuck in the scotch. Now. I don't yeah. think there's much left. He's a little bit. Uh, <laughs> He was one of the blokes that came back for drinks afterwards. Was bumping into walls and then went to sleep. But yeah. um, anyway, there you go. Happy New Year to Goodbye, you, Shelley. Hey, Jared, hey, um, how are you, mate? Oh, yeah, Jared, Jared's on too. I look like Robin Hood. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. Is it the? It's because um, cool. the mullet's gone, mate. Is it the uh, <laughs> Robin Hood men in tights you're talking about, Jared? That I look like. But anyway, hey, that's great. Yeah, no more mullet. The mullet's gone. See, look at that. Yeah. Clean up the back. So it's a bit of a party in the front and serious and business at the back it's now. It's serious again. <laughs> so whereas before I was business the at the front. The COVID looks gone. He's party like, at the back. Saying goodbye to COVID, don't you? Now, You're I done with it. I even yeah. actually had a shave this morning, which is uh, a bit of a change for me. But there you go. Mm. Uh, when are the neon signs for, for sale? Good to see you with a beer, Pete. Thanks, Vin. Yeah, no, we love it. Garrett yeah. Wells, g'day. How are you, mate? Um, yeah, we'll talk hey, to you guys, about that. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you about that. I'll tell you, you would have noticed if you jump on the 2SG website, which a lot of people get on and have a yeah. bit of a look and a bit of update, we just did an update and uh, all our new chopping boards. Yeah, all well, the chopping and boards coasters and the are coasters. Up. So, all handmade, made in Shepparton up there. Yeah, my old man. Uh, Neil, thanks, mate. Busy. He's done a ripping job. Busy tinkering away in the shed, putting together yeah. our 2SG chopping boards, all made from Aussie grown sourced manufactured hardwoods. Yeah. Um, so there's red gum, there's Tassie oak, um, some pretty cool stuff, all handmade, all handmade. Yeah. And he's got his little CNC router up there and he bangs in the logo and does all that <laughs> stuff. And I mess with no, his he's done a ripping job. I mess with his head a little bit. I know. He's, um, I think he prefers it when you're not there, to be honest. <laughs> I think what a son's for. Yeah. He, uh, he did it to me when I was young. He pulled me up. So anyway, yeah. fair fair game, I reckon. No, he did a good. He's done a ripping job. Hey, so what'd Rapping you get them. for Christmas, mate? More what'd importantly, what'd you get? Hang on. Oh, you tell me what you got. Oh, look at that! The hey? neon sign. Oh, it's soups. This one. Come on, soups. On. Put the hands up in the air. <laughs> hands up. There it is. No, she did a ripping job with the um. We met. I finally mounted it today. I've been waiting on some. Mounts for it, and then we mount it. He mounted it. it. Uh, mounted. He's a mountain man, and he likes mountain signs. What would you like to say? <laughs> I affixed it to a piece of timber. It's the old. <laughs> it's, the, it's the old. He's a mountain man, and he likes mountain women. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Uh, good stuff. So hey, the real yeah, no, okay, really good. No, How cool is that? Wrapped with it. So uh, Came off the, amazing. The suit, suit flashed out and spoiled the big boy for Christmas, know, yeah, which we was said pretty we awesome. Doing Christmas. We weren't doing presents this year. Oh, no, I know. I know. I know, and even we, me dry Christmas we did a couple of little things. You did we something did, yeah. a bit special too. So, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not as thoughtful as that. I just gave you a gift, which wasn't. <laughs> but, but check this out. We're going to share the screen. This is what Al got me, a framed version of this um, for Christmas. And I've now got it up at home. That's not showing it. I think it was the yeah, other screen, Al. No, it's that one. It's that one? Yeah. It's just taking a bit of time to come up. No. Are you seeing it? 
Soups? Not yet, but you guys are. It's 20 seconds. Oh, oh, that's right. Like, oh, yeah. look at that. <laughs> That'll be why I'm not seeing it. But that's it, yeah. Well, look at it. We've, we've gone all yellow. Elsa's decided that he's going to play some um, music tonight. Yep. And if you hear the squeaking in the background, that's just Elton's contribution to the Happy New Year show. So yeah. good on you, else. For those of you who've seen the uh, earlier post that we did, the live lead up to the show, you would have seen Elton and Freddie, our two, uh, two SG mascots. We've been out for a long while, and yeah. um, we decided we'd uh, we'd wipe venture the, out, <laughs> wipe the dust off, and we nearly cancelled the night before because it was said it was supposed to rain. Connection's a bit unstable, but anyway, we'll we'll sort that out. Yeah, um, nothing like a few technical issues. It's be unlike us not no, to have exactly any. right. Yeah. Hey, so we headed off to Eildon. We went with a couple of mates of ours with yeah, we uh, with uh, Jason, Ed Robinson, up. and a couple of boys. Yeah. And um, left we, nice and early last Tuesday morning, didn't we? Yeah, well, the uh, precipitation was ubiquitous here in Melbourne when yeah. we left. Well, and that's, nice. a, that's a nice way of saying it was pissing down. And um, sorry, I'm so sorry. anyway, it was, it was rolling down here in Melbourne. We took off seven o'clock, we hit the water, we were on the water by about 9 9 30. Yep, and away we went. We got over the other side of the hill, and it was bloody beautiful, mate. The sun yeah, was, was shot, sensational, wasn't it? So good, in fact, that you can probably see oh, probably snakes see in here. He's uh, he's no, peeling. can't see it. I'm actually peeling, peeling like, like a rip. I don't know about you, Al, but you're one of these guys, and I've, I've got an old saying, it's probably not terribly appropriate, but I'm going to run with it. Soups will probably throw something at me here in a minute. <laughs> but Al's the kind of bloke who'd fall into a bucket of thumbs and come up sucking a nipple every time. Every <laughs> single time, right? So I don't know about are, that, mate. Come are, on. 100%. 100%. All right, so this story, yes. I yeah, swear maybe, to God, right? right with this story. So we're flying around the bay, jumping over waves and carrying on, you know, boys being boys and Al's. Spoke to him about his nice little clip on with his phone and he's got his phone yeah, on his bracket, jet ski the with the bracket. Speaker and everything, yeah. Yep, a few jumps, he comes back over to him, he goes, lost me phone. You might have to uh, text Supes and tell her to ring me on your phone if she needs me. It was just gone once and it was there. I was just so he's done a bit over, over the wave. And... Over the wave. Anyway, he goes, oh, oh well. unless it just fell down somewhere and he stands up like this and he goes, oh, my God. It only bloke. The phone would have went up in the air like that He's jumped up in the air, landed, landed on the phone and secured it on his seat under his bum. Yeah. Hey? Had it been me, I'd have been snorkeling. It's on from, purpose, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing off. Yeah. Showing off. It was the... Uh, the was trying the, to show you how things are done. It was the bucket of thumbs. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. So that was our, no, our, was little, good day, our little trip. Yeah. Hey, I, you, I had a win. Did you? What'd you win? I had a win. What'd you win? Over Christmas. What'd you win? I cleaned up on the NFL fantasy. Oh, you league. did too, yes. Come first. Go the Dolphs. Won the finals. Go the Dolphs. Won the final, yeah. I did. I did. So I'll Give me a bit up, of a touch-up in the end. Give the big fella a touch-up, which yeah. was unexpected. And mm. uh, we both gave the Rifles a complete touch-up. The touch Rifles up. weren't ever, even in contention. I don't know why they bothered no. putting a team up for the finals. No. But anyway, good on you, boys. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, it's funny. I haven't seen either of them out there tonight. No. Where are they? The mother-in-law's out there. Mick Wood's out there. Good hey, on Mick, you, guys. Hey, How are you all? Um <laughs> What's that say? Poms don't tan, they burn. Is that cool? He knows that now. Yeah. He knows that now. So, anyway. Oh, you get that, don't you? There you go. Anyway, the hey, beer. Beers of the week. No, no hey, Trump. Trump. Been impeached. God, do we really want to talk about Trump? The only president in the history of the United States been impeached twice. Anyway. Should have been done a long time ago, really. But anyway. Anyway. There you That's go. That's my view. Yeah, well... <laughs> No political views. I'm just stating facts. I said that nice and quiet. Yeah, very yeah, I'll keep that real quiet. Very quiet. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what. <laughs> da, 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 da. Beer That's of the week. Beer of the week. What do we go with? Brick Lane. Craft Brick Lane. This beer week. of the week. Yeah. We thought we'd go with someone. We're going to, over the next few weeks, I think we're going to try and make a meticulous venture through the uh, Gabs list. Yeah, we're going to play with the Gabs list and we'll yeah. talk to you more about the, uh, the Gabs list shortly. But we'll also. What I think we'd like to do this year is have a more formalised reviewing. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier, weren't we? Reviewing and... and I'm not sure if it's going to be formal or if it's going to be off your drinkability. Oh, I said maybe <laughs> we don't go off my drinkability because that's not terribly popular. But anyway, um, so what happened uh, is we have decided that we're going to be a little 
bit more organised so that when we go to select beer of the year at the end of the year, yeah. it's not just a, hey, that one was good. I reckon that's all right. We'll roll with that. So we'll, we'll do something. We'll record each one that we have each week and the sort of discussions that we have. And, you know, I'll some tell you what. Off, haven't people, off everyone if the bum. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Them. What we should do is the week after we try them, we should get your feedback if you try them. Yeah. So give them a go. If we, if you hear us say they're bloody terrible, then maybe don't I mean, go and buy them. Yeah. But anyway. But then, let's be honest, some of your drinkability, mate, has been terrible. Hey, we so just we got a cracking comment there. It says, uh, rifles unloaded. Yeah, they did. They were never loaded. And what happened to Miami against the Bills? Um, we're not, yeah. uh, Bills, wasn't... Are, Bills are, Bill, Josh Allen is going mental at the moment. Yeah, him and Brady, crikey. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Let's not, go, not everyone does. Hey, so we're going to start with the... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about... Going to glass it up. Thanks, Mason. Let's, let's do that. Mason from Hawkers. We, uh, we're glass drinking a bit more we refined this year. I haven't found it over Christmas. Just found myself drinking out of a glass now instead of a... Um, yeah. It's funny because whenever I drink a craft beer, you know, I drink it out of glass. Um, but I found myself at the uh, the, hand, at the holding end of a dirty old Carlton draft stuff yeah. the other night, and I just drank oh, that. Oh, let's be honest, so, it tastes so, like crap anyway. Yeah, it's in it a glass or... I wasn't gonna. I didn't think a glass was going to improve the taste. <laughs> no, of it, so exactly. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. Yeah. Always thirsty. We are always thirsty. Always. That's my um, first beer actually since Christmas. Is that? Lockie saying, can I be an expert taster? Absolutely, Lock. Like, not go and buy one of these, support independent brewing, buy craft beer, and uh, yeah, by all means, come Jump on, on and tell us, tell us what you think, yeah. for sure. We might even video it. We could video someone That's each week idea. doing a quick That's review. That's a good idea with Lockie, is it? <laughs> it depends on whether he's 17 of these deep or not. But anyway, five, here he goes. So what do you think? Yeah, it's nice. I'm quite enjoying this. Good starter. Very natural tasting. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Nice. Chris, we'll talk a bit more about it, but... Um, anyway, yeah, a bit Brick more Lane. about Brick Lane. Yeah. yeah, so they're based in Imogen Way in Dandenong. Yeah. Um, and they've got a uh, tap house and the brewery based there. Yeah, they've got a Queen Brick Market as well. Yeah, they've got a tap house at, yeah. Queen, at QVM, yep, in Queen Street. So you can get them on either one, yeah. um, which is great. Um, they started the whole brewery for those guys started 25 mates. Crazy, eh? Good idea. <laughs> Had a cracking idea to get together and the, the plan was to do things differently. Yeah. So just be different than than all the other brewers and what they're doing. So, um, and they've done that. And, yeah. and part of their thing of being different, it was to create a brewery with all the gear to be able to brew booze and, and, and non-booze product. I must say they're doing some kombucha and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, they've got heaps of stuff there. And, um, but they open it up to some contract brewing as well. So yeah. they bring people in who want to brew their own beer and let them use their gear to brew it, package it. They've got all state-of-the-art machinery and all that sort of gear. Um, so anyone that wants to do like short runs and things like that, they, um, when I say short runs, I'm not saying, you know. Short run down the street, 100 metres. A case of beer like <laughs> we do with two smoking guns written on it. Or yeah. talking, you know, someone that wants yeah. thousand, couple yeah. of thousand sort of stubbies, I suppose. But Probably do with a thousand cases, why not? Why not? Of, get rid of them somewhere, might, you know, a couple of people that might get rid of a couple of slabs. Yeah, there might be quite a few that don't make it out of the door. Probably, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, they've won a few uh, awards as well yeah. last year, like November at the... Um, Is that the, the awards? Uh, Indies? Awards? Yeah, the Indies. Yep. Yeah, yeah the Independent no um, Brewers Awards. Yep. So they're ripping there and they're up for um, a few in the uh, Gabs as well. Three beers in the Gabs. Three in the top 100. So yeah. Gabs... Gabs is uh, the top 100 craft beers in, in Australia, basically. And they've got three in the finals now Yeah, um, that have been judged. And, um, is judging still open? Yeah, voting finishes tomorrow night. So yep. um, get on board. In fact, that brick lane draft, I mean, I'd, I'd, That's not bad. I don't mind that. I'd get on and, yeah. and stick a vote on for that. It's pretty good hmm. for draft beer. I mean, I don't, I don't, mind that. don't drink a lot of draft other than no, carbon when I have it. More but... like well, the pale ale and the hazies now. Well, the hazies over Christmas, I had a fair crack at them. But anyway, um, I could take you to an independent brewery. Any chance of getting my OKJ gear? Absolutely. That's Who's Ian, that? from, Ian from Tire Power. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be Kylie from Tire Power at uh, Hawthorne. Yeah, it would be, yeah. The boss. Yeah, the boss. Um, so, yes, the short answer is yes, you can take us to an independent brewery. And, yes, we can bring your OKJ gear over. Yes, 
Yes. Just let us know when and where. Okay. Hey, Vin. Thanks for uh, thanks for sticking hey, in there and uh, having a look at all the uh, ramblings and carry on that we, we get on with on a Thursday night and um, our musical talent in the background, which is great. Yeah. So they got three beers. So go to www and I'll get soups to put it up on the feed, but it's www.gabsfestival.com. Yep. So jump on there. Um, you can jump on and vote for your favourite craft beer and it's craft beer awards top 100 in australia yep. um they're gonna judge that over the next um couple of um weeks and then if you, you also get a chance with that to go to the gab's beer festivals so if you pick the beer invite, that wins invite us. yeah and you take 10 of your mates and yep. of course we're 10 of your mates so <laughs> don't forget so that. you've only got eight mates to take correct yeah the other cool thing that Brick Lane do, they run a heap of comps, right? So yeah. every year they're doing different things. One year, one they did last year was um, a really interesting one. They did year for uh, beer for a year. So you got a slab of beer delivered every month for a year to your door. And all you had to do um, was watch a short video that they created mm. of uh, two of their blokes loading up, I think it was a HJ station wagon, old Holden station wagon with slabs of their beer. And uh, the whole car was chock a block with slabs of beer, so it was a great yeah. little ad. And um, you had to guess how many slabs of beer were in there. Yeah, well, um, I haven't seen the result. I know, it? I know it's closed. I don't know how many was in there. Uh, anyway, couple. But jump on, they do some great comps and all that sort of thing. Um, they've got Tote Draft, so they created. For those of you who live in Melbourne, you know the Tote Hotel or the, the venue where they do a lot of live music and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, in town. Um, what they've done is they've created a tote um, tote right. draft yep. um, that they're selling. And if you go to the bricklane.com.au website um, and you buy a case, five bucks of every case that gets bought goes towards um, live music acts at the tote once everything's up and running oh, again. Awesome. So they're, they're banging money into the live music um, side of things, which is awesome. Yeah, nice. um, and they're working with Sarah McLeod, the... Um, lead singer of Super Jesus as well. Yeah, wow. So they got her on board doing some some draft beer stuff and all that sort of thing. They got about 15 beers in the range. Wow. So a lot of them are sours and when you talk about like, oh, quite drinkable. That's good. I'm, I'm that. Um sours I didn't are, see many there today though when I was um going in to get these. Yeah, I think in Dean's they only carry uh, like I most a couple, I mean, yeah. yeah it, it's like when you go in looking for hawkers stuff. There's probably only three yeah, or four hawkers right, yeah. beers on the shelf. So they never do the full range. But if you're keen to have a look um, I know that Brick Lane do a lot of mixed packs on yep. their on their site. So the ones that they won awards for in the Indies, they've got a pack with all of them in it as well, yeah, well which is pretty cool. cool. Um, so anyway, so that's them. Tonight's beers, as we said, is the Brick Lane Draft yep. um, that and we're the, hooking into now, the Black Can. And the One Love Pale Ale. One Love Pale Ale. So the draft is a no fuss drinking beer. It's pretty, That's as great. I said, non offensive. Yeah, pretty definitely. crisp and clean. A little bitterness on the on the back of it. Mm. Um, One point four standard drinks. Drinkability, mate. Four point nine percent beer. About fifty four bucks a slab or twenty bucks for a half a dozen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jeez. Am I going to do this? This is I'm going out. Come on, mate. Here. You wanted to start it. You've got to keep going. We're saying it's an once you start an eight, he's going with an eight. Is that your highest score so far? No, I think uh, the hazy pale ale from Hawkers was and the black hops like actually, a nine, nine were, and a half. Yeah, the black hops one of. So I'm going to write on there well. that that was an eight for me. Yeah, nice. So we've done that. So Beautiful. that's that's that one. Um, the other one that we've got, which we'll open and try shortly, and I'll, I'll give you the tasting notes a little bit. One love pale ale. It's a hoppy um, citrus flavoured beer. Um, so it's a, a traditional sort of pale ale, yep. soft bodied with a bit of a passion fruit edge on it and that sort of thing. Again, um, these guys, no added sugars, no extracts, all that sort of thing. So all pretty natural. Nice and natural. Full flavoured, all that sort of thing with a bit of bitterness on the end. It's only a very light pale ale. That was the thing I noticed with it. It's like a, a full yeah, point. Yeah, full. 4.4 yeah. on a 1.2 standard drink, yeah. which for pails normally they're a bit bit heavier yeah. on the uh, yeah. on the alcohol than that. Yeah, definitely. 65 a slab or 22 a six pack on the on the pale ale, and we'll Can't give you, wrong, you once we finish the uh, draft, we'll give you a bit of a rundown on that. Can't be wrong with that. Mm. 65. Yeah, Brick Lane. Their statement on their cans are brewed and bottled in Australia, of course, because they're Dandenong based craft brewery, part of the independent brewing scene in Australia, <clears throat> and. Um, 
one of the things they say is we believe in great beer and the independent brewing community. So mm. they're big supporters of the independent brewing com community. They're in the Indies, they're in um, Gab's Festival, all that sort of thing, and they're locally owned and made. So get behind them, Dan Candy. Yep. Um, good setup. Nice and local as well, Danny. Yeah. It's only yep. 20 minutes down the road. Yep. Yep. So as I said, jump on uh, gabsfestival.com. Um, Soup's in there. It's the all right. countdown on Saturday, the 20, uh, Saturday, January the 23rd. Yep. Which is two weeks away um, to see who wins the most popular craft beer of 2020. And just by voting, you go into the draw to win 10 tickets for you and your mates to go to your nearest Gabs craft beer and cider festival in 2021 Beautiful. and sounds I'm, like a plan i'm in i think their sunshine go uh, gold coast one went ahead but i think they had to do some of the virtual so yeah i think they had a bit of flack on that but anyway mm. un unlucky because it's just the way it is yeah with, with no. what that do? lovely thing called COVID, COVID. That, that we're all living with actually what a day today actually it was the first time that there's been zeros all over australia was it zeros everywhere, everywhere today yeah. really yeah wow that's um that's good that? i'm just trying to Organise our next uh, sound effect. Ready for Have the you next got sound, sound sound effect for this for the next one? Yeah, wow. absolutely, absolutely. I well, I did have. You did have, and you've lost it. I have, I have. In more ways than one, really. Isn't it? Um. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, bear with me one oh, second no. because I can find it really. I actually easy. thought you were joking when you were playing this. Oh before. no, no, I was serious, mate. So anyway, this will introduce our next. Uh, I'm going to apologise. Our next uh, segment, and it'll give you a bit of an insight as to what the hell we were talking about. Um, in the post. In the post. Yep. So it's telling me that. You've got a new phone and everything. It's still not working. No, no, it's working. <laughs> It's just I had it teed up before so that there was no ads, and now all of a sudden, <clears throat> because I've gone out of it and gone back into it, Alan, there's some ads. So what we want to talk to you about tonight is... <laughs> As I said, I thought he was joking when he was... <laughs> we're going to do Let's Talk Lamb! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm taking no, taking no response. Oh, come on. This I'm is gonna excellent. Be honest, I'm going to be honest. This is not in the notes. Pete plays dodgy sound effect. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Give me a spell. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that either, am I? Damn no, it. Definitely. Anyway. Hey, so tonight we're going to talk about land. Yep. But what we want to do is we came across this year's uh, lamb ad for Aussie Day from our mate Sam Kekovich. Yeah. And it is an absolute cracker. So chuck it up, Al. Al's going to share it. It's a couple of minutes. Um, we just want to share with you. It's a bit of a laugh. It's a bit of good fun. And um, this is what is coming up. So have a crack at this. We'll get some sound. Uh, yeah, it's coming. Oh. Sorry, guys. If it worked. Oh. No sound? No, it's coming. It just doesn't want to. Sorry. Queenslanders. I 
So, this is Julio. See? I told you they were different. Gravity Rally, you made it. Yeah. Sorry for trying to become our own country. Again. Even the Tasmanians have arrived. Where are the rest of you? This is all of us. We did it. The United States and Australia. It's just Australia. We should celebrate this day every year. What have I missed? Hey, so there you go. What a ripping ad. It yeah, is, uh, bad, is it? absolute <laughs> cracker. Probably the best one I've seen so far. So it's um, it's played on COVID. It's played on everything else. And uh, yeah. oh, mate, Sam Kekovic, as always, got his uh, got his mug in there to promote yeah, Lamb. So, yeah. so you know what? He does this, it well, though, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, he's just it's it's the voice of Lamb for Aussie Day every year. You know what? I was in at Brendan's today, having a chat with Brendan's meats in yep, Doncaster, yep. where we get most of our meat from. We've got the chicken wings that we had tonight. No. Um, but Sam was in there. He's a good mate at Brendan's. When? Tonight? Today? Yeah. No, he was in there yesterday with Brendan. Really? And, yeah, he's a good mate at Brendan's. Oh, well, we should try and hook up. I know, shouldn't we? We should try and get him on here. Yeah. Even if we can get him on a phone call or something next yeah, week, nice, that'd be great. Yeah. Leaving Aussie Day. But January, it's uh, all roads lead to lamb for Australia Day, mate. Yeah. We know that. So we want Excuse to try and spend a bit of time and focus on lamb um, this week and next week. Um, hopefully next week we might even get to uh, get out to Brennan's and do a bit of a video in the shop with him. Yes, yeah, I had a bit of a chat with him today and hopefully we can get hold of him early next week, but he's yeah. a pretty busy man as he well. Talks so a China. big game about yeah. showing us the shoulder, mate. So come on, lift your game, Brendan. We want to be out there. We want to show the people how you do yeah. lamb shoulder. So that's where we want to be next week and we'll put that up and uh, that'll form part of the show for Definitely. next week. Yeah. Hey, so I just wanted to give you some stats about lamb, which I... Well, actually, oh, no, mate, I was pretty impressed, actually, weren't you? I've actually got a question for you first. For me? Before, yeah, before... This will be good. No, no, this is a bit impromptu. It's, it's, you can even <laughs> chime in on this. I'd really like your opinion. You ready? So the question is, what do you think globally is the most widely eaten red meat? What meat globally do you think is the most widely eaten? I would say beef. Beef? I would say if... Well, we're talking about lamb, so surely it's lamb. You think it's lamb? Well, it's actually neither of those. It's actually goat, believe it or not. Okay. Goat so we're going is... back to that goat curry that you wanted to cook last <laughs> I'm, year. I'm, no, I'm giving you the mail. We're gonna, we are going to do goat on this show, I'm telling you. Oh, I've got a little Indian mate of mine. He'd better be looking at here, or a couple of the blokes that know him. And yeah. um, I think he needs to get on here and show us the Indian goat curry recipe that he he does. And evidently it's very popular. Sharma's goat. Sharma's Thanks, goat. That's what it is. We're going to get on and we're going to give you the recipe for Sharma's goat. No, it wasn't lamb, it's goat. The other interesting fact with that is that Australia is the biggest exporter of goat meat in the world. Yep. And most of it goes out to like Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei. Can you smoke goat? You can smoke goat. Yeah, of course you can. Smoke anything. You can smoke smoke a goat all your life, no problem. We'll do, um, a, we'll do a full one for you. I think we that? need to leave that alone now. We need to back <laughs> We'll away, do a full goat. Break eye contact, back away slowly. <laughs> hey, so there's a couple of really cool facts, and, and I'm going to throw them at you. So 70.6 million head of sheep wow. in the country. Really? So there's... In rough, Australia alone. In Australia. Wow. We had to the uh, the old... You know, the, New Zealanders. No the way. Old Gumboot and Velcro glove wearers. We had to them. Maybe they just need sporting this. Hey, 70.6 <laughs> million. We're the second largest producer of lamb and mutton in the world. That's crazy. We do 501, just over 501,000 tonne of lamb, and we do about 230 tonne of mutton. And for those of you who wow. don't know the, know the difference, lambs are the young ones, muttons are the old chewy ones. Um, most of the mutton goes to China, and, and in fact, most of our lamb goes to China, but quite a bit out to the US as well. Yeah. Um, but Victoria accounts for about fifty percent of all the the lamb that's produced. So not not how many head of sheep there are, mm -hmm. but how much is produced, yep. um, ready for the market. So live market exports, um, fresh meat market, all that sort of thing here. Victoria represents about fifty percent of that in total, which is really really interesting. Yeah. Well. Um, we present uh, Australia produced seven percent. So, can you give it to Thanks. Yeah, of course. Um, produce about seven percent of the global 
yeah. lamb meat that yeah. goes out there, export and local and everything else. About seven percent. Yeah, wow. So it's massive. The lamb industry here. When you start looking into it, um, the MLA, the Meat and Livestock um, Association of Australia. If you jump on the their website, they got some really cool gear on there. They yeah. got education programs for kids in schools that talk about farming and animal husbandry and all that sort of stuff. Um, really good some great stuff, yeah. learning resources. Yeah. So it's not, you know, you learn about, they actually have uh, an app, which is a VR app. So you put the virtual reality goggles on and you go into this app mm. and it shows you the whole paddock to plate process yeah, wow. of, of a sheep. So from, from, and glory does that get? Is it, is it like rated, like PG the, rated? Or is it, I don't know, but, but you know what? There's a lot of those little punks out there that could do with a fair dose of reality. Oh, and I think yeah. that seeing wow. the real part of it is is just bloody ripping. Mm. So it's a, it's a good oh, stuff. Awesome. So jump on the MLA website, um, the Meat and Livestock Association of Australia, and have a look at that. We export around about 2 million head of sheep, live sheep a year. Yep. Um the Oz sheep meat industry is worth about 6.6 .6 billion bucks wow. to our economy. Um, so 3.8 billion of that is export, 3 billion is local. Um, Aussies consume, this is, I couldn't get this over this. This is mental when you This is crazy, this. right? <laughs> so Australians consume around about 7.3 kilos of lamb per person a year. So for those of you who aren't eating your fair share of lamb, lift your yeah, game. Because half of that being over Australia Day weekend, surely the rest of us yeah. are getting fat, <laughs> right? So come on, lamb's pretty lean. It's not that bad. Uh, no, no. <laughs> of of all the meats, it's probably when yeah, you talk is. beef, pork, or lamb. Um, lamb oh, has yeah. the highest fat content. Oh, I've got um, lamb four quarter on the barbecue. Oof. Can't beat it. Can um, you? So, yeah, and we've got the highest um, consumption rate per head around the world. Yeah. And lamb represents about 13% of all the meat that we eat in Australia every year. That's mental. So they're, they're, they're amazing stats. Like when you start to look into it, and we just thought, you know, Aussie Day, lamb, we want to get people on board. So we, we want to talk you. Um, to, Lockie reckons he eats at least seven kilos, so he's picking up the slack for a few others. <laughs> that was last week. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say this week. Lucky there's no lamb around because he'd have exactly, it on that yeah. smoker. Correct. Um, but yeah, you can smoke lamb. We'll talk to you about that in a sec. So, yep. um, spoken about what the most widely eaten meat is, and you know what it is. It's, yeah, it's a bit of goat. Um, bit of goat. So, red meat contains about 13 essential nutrients, vitamins, minerals, all that sort of thing. But one of the, the main parts of lamb is the iron um, part of it. It's actually a there's more iron in lamb than there is in fish and chicken. Yeah, well. Okay, so it's actually a really good source of lamb. The other thing is that it's such a rich meat um, and it's so high in protein and fats um, that it's great for muscle building. So if you've had an injury or anything like that or... I thought you were talking like me with the guns. <laughs> I reckon you've been eating a fair bit of lamb just quietly. No, that's gone kind of diet this week. I... I reckon the lamb's, no been, lamb's been going I don't know over. if it was COVID or Christmas or it's just us <laughs> smoking too much meat. Yeah. The, the only thing, as I said, it has a fairly high fat content. So you talk uh, in 100 grams of lamb, there's about 50, I think it's about 51% water, about 26% protein, and the remainder is fats. Yeah, well. But the problem with lamb is that half of those fats is generally around about uh, is saturated fats, which aren't all that great. Yeah. However, when you slow and low cook the, the lamb and it renders out that fat, and if you use the, the leaner cuts, things like tenderloin, um, chops, um, legs, things like that, where there's not a lot of fat, um, you'll get a really, really, yeah, really good piece. Yeah. Yeah. And the bonus with Aussie grown lamb, and a lot of the international companies love our lamb because although we produce, as I said, I think it's about, all up about 640,000 um, tons of well, lamb mental. a year. How's this? China, 2.4 million tons a year wow. of lamb. Wow. And they still take most of our export. Really? Yep. Obviously love their lamb. So they love it. Um, so it's in a, whenever you get something that's meat in China, there's every chance it could be a bit of lamb in it. Yep. I've never guessed that there was lamb in anything I was given no, in definitely. China that was called meat before. No. Nothing that tasted like it. But anyway, no, 100%. the reason they love ours is because there aren't the the intense farming processes and practices 
here with lamb like there is overseas and ours are all pasture fed free range all that sort of thing yep and what that tends to do is it produ produces a really nice meat um that's got a great flavor it's quite mild compared to some of the the intense grain fed sort of um, feedlotting arrangements and things like that so um mm -hmm. Our lamb. You really a, love your lamb, don't you? Has a unique taste. Oh, I just like doing my homework. You know that. I do homework. <laughs> Loves his lamb. I care about you people. You I do, do homework you do, you and tell you the facts. I'm ripping job here. I'm speechless. So, smoking wise, the lamb. Yep. What will we do? Yep. What sort of woods will we smoke with? What temps? The best ones. And the, the, one of the things, that, again, with the fat contented lamb, because it is so heavy in fat, it soaks in the, the smoke flavor really quickly. So, yep. you've got to be careful. A lot of people stuff it up and ruin mm. a good piece of lamb oh yeah the um, first time i did a bit of lamb on the smoke right it was as dry as oh really yeah it was yeah. horrible it was terrible so the trick they say is to make sure you're using really good quality charcoal so 100 yeah. carbon charcoal if you can get it and make sure it's we do really good stuff so yeah. sam i know you're kings. on here from uh from charcoal king so cheers mate thank you and we're looking forward to getting the pellets i yeah, noticed you put, put that up coming out there yeah. before and um but it yes, might be some crab apple with the uh, lamb shoulder. Oh, anything fruit, they say. Yeah. So anything that's got a, a, a fruit flavour, so apple, cherry, peach, any of those, crab apple would be great. That was um, grapevine. I wouldn't know that'd go. Uh, someone I read one, someone yeah. did some with olive, and they reckon it was. See, I've been telling you about olive. I've been wanting to try olive. So we must get yeah. some. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's awesome. So I'll, I'll tell you more about it, but. <laughs> what you do, smoking temp. So best smoke with fruit woods, as we said, only put one chunk of wood on. Yeah, don't so go mental. Don't, don't. Too overpowering, yeah. You can always add more later yeah. if you need to, but you can't take it out, right? Yeah. It's like the fat on a lamb. Like when you when you do a leg or a tenderloin or whatever, leave the fat on it. Don't cut it off unless it's really excessive. Don't cut it off because it renders down really well and it helps with the tenderising, the juiciness and all that sort of thing of the lamb. So don't cut all the all the fat off it because yeah. you want that and again it's easier to cut it off afterwards when you're ready to serve it than it exactly, is yeah. to put it back on you yeah. can't put it back on so leave it on there and if you if it's too much for you when you go to cut it up cut the fat Take off it off yeah leave it on there to do its Easy. job renders and does all that sort of stuff yep so in terms of temps and stuff like that and i'm going to talk in fahrenheit because it's easy because that's all the info is in that yeah um but what what we normally you run your smoker between 225 and 250 yep, so and again what's that 107 to 120 one eight, oh, we'll yeah, one what does that tell us oh, yeah. look at that we've got a magnet it? that tells us all the that phone will be a, so yeah so one only, oh, I was, how is that i was bang on 107 to 121. if only we had a a, a great referral thing to <laughs> tell you what temperature to cook meats to that we sell on our website and through eBay. Well, I've been really, really well. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's your smoke temp. Get it fired up. Get it in there. What you're trying to do is get your meat temp up to somewhere between 135 and 145. If you like it, the rare side of medium, hmm. pull it at 135 and then rest it. Yeah. If you like medium, which I do in lamb, I don't like too much red and thickness in the lamb but um pull it off at 145 wrap so it. you're looking about that 71 71 72 degrees c yeah about, about that yeah. for medium um so you get beautiful medium lamb wrap it for at least half an hour and esky it um and then yeah. cut it and serve it nice. if you're interested in seeing a recipe jump on the oklahoma joe's website so oklahomajoes.com and i think it's on the .com.au oak joe's website as well they have a ripping smoked leg of lamb with garlic and herb paste um, which is really yeah. easy to do and um i'm gonna give it a bash why not so shall i go coming why not what did you think about my lamb review Mate, i'll tell you what i'm impressed speechless should have been a farmer Mate, I'll tell you honestly, what, we, there's we, a page and a half here on lamb. I'm going to have a quick look at some of the uh, the comments. The smoke and temp magnets are great. I recommend them to you all, to all my right. mates. Thanks, Garrett. Good stuff, Garrett. Olive would be a really traditional wood for lamb. Um, they use it lots in Greece. They do that and rosemary. So if you did that and did a, a rosemary and garlic paste, you'd be rosemary spot on the money. Garlic, you can't go wrong with lamb, How can good you? would that be? Yeah. Um, Lobby reckons he's got some... Olives, uh, some olive coming, so yep. we'll be around to collect it. Oh, awesome. He's only around the corner. We'll be around to collect it. Some. Hey, so when he loads up, how's that pale ale going? I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. What are you trying to make me skull beers now? Oh, I'll black out like I did on New Year's. <laughs> so that was another highlight for uh, New Year's was 
My mate, he had to pay an excessive um, Uber bill for messing it up and having it have to be cleaned. Someone fed me two tequila and I don't do tequila. <laughs> one tequila. One thing I cannot do. See, oh, one tequila, two tequila, three <laughs> tequila, four. It makes me black out. I spoke to everybody at midnight, yeah. including yourself. Yeah. I can't remember speaking to you. Yeah, I got a phone call anyway. from him and he sounded very composed and very normal, but yeah. afterwards Apparently I found it wasn't. out, couldn't remember a thing. And I, don't even, I literally only had six beers for the night. Hmm. And about four and a half bottles of tequila. No, I had two shots of tequila. That's all it took. <laughs> two shots of two shots. That was four it. beers of two shots of tequila, and you were throwing up black there. Yeah, I was done. Must have been bloody big shots. No, they weren't. Just normal shots. Well, yeah. But well, it was we... a caramel flavored tequila. It did not taste like tequila. Anyway. Oh, dang. Less of that. <laughs> oh. All right. Hey, so we're going to feature a fair bit more about lamb. I'm going to do some more homework on lamb, mm-hmm. and I'm going to bring you some other <laughs> ram, ram, ram. So Michelle's saying to purchase the uh, magnets, but watch out for the delivery guy. He gives a lot of cheek. I'll tell you what, how's this? <laughs> how, this is this is gold, right? This so guy being the delivery guy last one week. of our one of our lovely top fans out there who watches us and is with us and happens to be related to old mate next door here, my darling sister. Um, Michelle, her and her lovely other half, which is Roaming Bubbles, who yeah. was who was recognised. He was the in day Melbourne, after <laughs> the day after the Christmas show. Some bloke yeah, came up to him and went, "Pull that bloke off the barbecue show, yeah, aren't you?" Roaming Bubbles, yeah. <laughs> that's gold. So that was gold. So Jared and Shelley, I popped down there. This is gold, right? So I'm down yeah. there. I had to do some stuff down their way, and said, oh, "I'll drop their, their new cover in because we got the covers in for the smokers." Finally. Anyway, roll in. Knock, knock, knock on the door, and I hear this. Yeah, okay, mate. Just leave it at the door. Thanks. <laughs> and I'm like, really? <laughs> like, I've only known you for like 10 years or something. And I say, like, oh, yeah, no, leave it at the door. I'm thinking, it's a bit rude. <laughs> rude. <laughs> Next minute, Jared comes to the door and he goes, oh, yeah, you know, Shell's not feeling too well. And, uh, and she rang me about an hour later, uh, amazingly apologetic, going, oh, my God, I didn't realise it was you. <laughs> and I said, I couldn't care less. If you're that rude to bloody delivery drivers, you need to take a good, long, hard look at yourself. That's right. So, anyway, there you go. <laughs> that was my bit of amusement. Um, so if anyone's got any contributions, so next week is the lead-up to Aussie Day week. Yep. If anyone's got any good lamb recipes or any good lamb Some facts or... or Anything lamb. Even We'd, anything they've done in the past where they've stuffed up or, you know, yeah. where they've, you know. Yep. Yep. Don't we say will, it right. We're going to talk lamb yeah. next week. 100%. Lamb, 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 lamb. And even going forward, if there's anything that you guys want to chat about or you want us to chat about or you want us to look into for you or whatever, just shoot us a message, shoot us a, you know, Yep. Happy to do, happy happy to do to whatever we can. Yep. If we know them, we'll bring it up on the show and do a bit of a segment on it. So, as I said, we're hoping to get into Brendan's next week and Brendan's talking about showing us through the process of doing a lamb shoulder. Yeah. Um, and hopefully that comes off and we'll be able to run the run you mm. through that. We might even get that up as a video before next week's show and then yeah, have a bit yeah. of a review of it or whatever. Yeah. Um, and if we can find something that's easy to cook lamb-wise, we, maybe we could even do it out on, on the back deck next week. Why not? See what the weather's like. Why not? If we the can. New, the new portable neon yeah. can go it goes where we go. Goes where, you're going to see that everywhere we go. <laughs> Can't wait to get the new big round one that's got the pig and the uh, anyway. The guns. Talk to you about that later. No rifles, hey, just what's guns. Good, what's, good? <laughs> <laughs> what's cooking this week, big no boy? No rifles tonight either, have we? No. Not heard of pig. Not a pig. What is going on? Can't even see him in the chat. No. Nothing doing. No. What's going on with those blokes? Mm-hmm. Seriously. Maybe they're, off. maybe they're upset about the cook off chook off still. Oh. Or one of them is. <laughs> one of, yeah. no, no, the one that's devastated about the chook off is on here. Yeah. And in fact, what we we probably nearly should have had a lamb cook off for Aussie Day, but anyway, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Yeah. Um, so I know you cooked wings tonight because we you had did them some chicken wings tonight. They're pretty brilliant, yeah, weren't they? Come so on, the, I've nearly mastered them, I think. Oh, sweet baby rays, wing wing eggs, yeah, buffalo um, sauce. Oh, yeah. it was bloody beautiful. Really Threw them nice. up in a bit of garlic and onion and um, is that what sesame you did? oil. Yeah. First. What rubbed them in a Bowl with a bit of yeah, garlic, bit of garlic, onion, bit garlic of sesame powder, oil. onion yep. powder, yep. sesame um, oil, sesame oil. What Not else? too much. That's it. In the bowl. Yep. Throw them on. Yep. Whack, whack the smoke up as hot as I can get it. Flat out on the tray. Get. Yep. Get them until they're about oh, about sixty five internal. Right. Sixty five, seventy five, anywhere in between there. Yep. Whip them out. Throw them in some sweet baby rays buffalo sauce. So you pull that on and rub it around in the bowl. Yep. 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 And then Try whack and back them back up. on for another 10-15 minutes and. Yep. Spot on. Yeah, up to about 90. 
Hey, one of, one of the things that we've, you know, and a lot of people, if you haven't used your smoker before and all that sort of thing, if you want to save yourself a bucket load of growth, there's a couple of tips. One is the surfaces inside your smoker um, that don't impede any of the heat coming through, cover them in foil because mm. you can always pull the foil out and throw it away. It's always harder to clean it out. So do that. Wherever there's surfaces in your, it's no different than having fat soaking a tray underneath your Barbie, really. No, that's it. The other trick is, and, and again, tonight I've seen that you do it and I do it as well at home, just get yourself some cake racks. Yeah, um, because, I use them. All you know, the, time. The, the, the tight woven cake racks for for ribs and and wings and things like that are perfect. Oh, it makes just, it so much easier. You just lay them all on clean. There. Yeah, keeps everything clean and tidy. Saves your bucket load of cleaning up at the end. And, and the cake it, racks just go straight in the dishwasher after. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. So tip for young players: get yourself some uh, some cake racks and that sort of thing to uh, to yeah. cook with. Cooling racks now. Yeah. What are you cooking this week? I know before that, that pale ale was brilliant. Oh, is it? I know. It's really nice, it's really fruity. Did you scull it? Yeah, anyway, you can I talk did, about it. I did because we had to get onto it before we get off. You can talk about cooking. What are we cooking? What am I cooking this week? I'll tell you what, uh -huh. I'll tell you, I've done a bit of cooking over the last few weeks, though. Did a brisket last week, and I'll tell you, it was one of the best briskets I've done so far. Really? It was brilliant. I did a nine kilo, uh, no, it was an eight kilo brisket last Friday, uh, Friday or Saturday. I can't remember what it was. Did I give you some of my brisket when I cooked a big eight and a half kilo one? I don't think you did, no. Did I, I could have no, sworn I, don't think you did. I no, could you have sworn you had a jerky. couple of bags of jerky. You gave me some of the jerky. <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon you had about seven bags of jerky just quietly. It was only five, anyway. It was only five anyway. <laughs> yeah, one was yours. One was yours. One was. What's mm. a couple of bags between friends? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> Possessions nine, ten, possessions nine tenths of the law and I left them in you. Hey, talk about jerky. Mate of ours, the old sore loser from the chicken cook-off, was at his place the other night, just mm -hmm. called him. And um, he goes, oh, I might have some jerky in here to show you. Hey, hang on. Go inside and he opens the fridge and pulls out this container. I went, mate, I don't eat, mate. You need to yeah. He goes, yeah, it's been there a couple of weeks. <laughs> I was going to say, he's been away for about three weeks. Jeez, mate. Yeah. I was going to leave there with a dose of something that would have been ungodly. Yeah. Hey, no, Garrett, so yeah, got, Garrett's got to head off. So thanks, mate. Thanks for uh, checking you, in. And thanks, uh, great to see you here tonight, Cheers, mate. Um, All right. It was saying the brisket. Yeah, the, I did an eight and a half kilo. There was only four of us that ended up here that night eating it. And there was a kilo and a half left at the end of the night. So you've had about a kilo, kilo and a half. Literally left. smashed it between the four of us. Who was he? Uh, Rocky. Ryan, Nigel. me and Bet. Nigel Ruck. Yep, no, Chris Ruck. No, oh, Chris. Hmm. Nigel's brother. Yep, that's all right. All right. Um, so, yeah, no, that's uh, brilliant. Hang on, I've got so it. Then you pay a your drink ability. Um, what else have I cooked? I did some short ribs just after Chrissy. Hang on, I'm, I'm going to. Bloody amazing I'm as well. I did put the photos up. I'm going to cleanse my palate a little before I. Oh, I just can't some water. Watch out. Well, you can't. I can't do a fair drink ability test. Oh, you can't. You're with right. With a mouth full of bloody no. draft. Anyway. And then cook was over Christmas as well. Like Chrissy Day, I had every everything going in the yard on Christmas Day. Had an absolute ripper. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah, that's good. What are you thinking? That's good. Nice and fruity, isn't it? It's, it's not. Saying, it's not like you said. It's not strong, and you could drink a lot. You could drink it. But it's a not. Lot of it. It's not over fruity like some of the pale ales. Some yeah. of the pale ales get quite. Almost like you could chew a steak out of the glass. Yeah. This is actually quite light and it's soft. Yeah. yeah, it is very mm. soft. Yeah, mm. no, it's nice. Oh, oh. Come on, here we go. No, no, I reckon that's got the other one. I reckon that's an eight and a half. Whoa, here he is. Have a look at this guy starting an eight the eight year off with an eight and eight and a half. Oh, I was wrong to move. I know. But mate, they're pretty I'll good. You, you have to admit that's it. a good stuff. Oh, they're yeah, pretty no, good. They're good. They're good. Yeah. You'd be up there with that, wouldn't you? Mm. You'd give every beer a 10, though. No, I'm, I'm off the beer now. You know, I'm going to be careful with my um, guts. I've uh, got to get on the scotch. So I might have to start doing scotch on a wet Thursday night. Anyway. No, I'll still be drinking. I'll still be drinking beers for the show. Oh, he's going to take one for the show. Oh, 100%. Any tips Anything for cooking for jerky? Yes, use silver side. Silver side. So or get what yourself some silver side. Brendan, give me that flank steak. No, or silver side. No, he also gave me the uh, flank steak. I've still got some because he gave me two lots of it. Is he like Brendan? Give me. Yeah, it looks after his name. Anyway, hey. So you've, you've cooked all this stuff over over Christmas and New Year, yeah. and you've cooked everyone feeds and what. I've had nothing, nothing from you over Christmas. Oh, well, we went out, didn't we? 
Yeah, but we, we were barbecued out, so we went and did a wine, bit of a winery, <laughs> <laughs> a, we, a loose term winery day. <laughs> we thought we'd go out, and I said to the guys, "I'll pick them up, and we'll go to a winery." We headed out to uh, where did we go? Tarawera. We took didn't we? we? We took soups and the bride. Yep. And and loaded up the the cart, and away we went. Yeah. Thought we'd head out, a few wines, get some lunch. Anyway, head out to Tarawera. Can we have the menu, please? No, sorry, we've run out of food. It wasn't even 12 o'clock. What sort of place runs out of food? Well, it wasn't play, even midday. We got plenty of booze at 20 bucks a glass, but no food. <laughs> Sorry. So we end up yeah. at the Panton Hill Hotel. The Panton Hill Pub. <laughs> so it started on a winery day and ended up at the Panton Hill Pub. Ended up at the Panton Pan Hill Pub. Three sheets of the wind by the time I left, mind you, as well. <laughs> Crikey. Well, we were getting into the... Um, Stone and Wood. Stone and Wood out there. Yeah, we we did, were. Yeah. But the Panton Hill Pub, I, I was there the week before for... Sill's birthday, the sister in law. The manager there is a great guy, Nick. What an absolute Andrew? ripping bloke. Andrew? Yeah. I think it was, yeah. I think it's Andrew. Ripping guys out there. Nick. Come and sit down with us for a couple yeah, of minutes and have good, a chat. Good yeah. guys. And the kids are out there kicking the week before when I was there with the family for the, the Sill's birthday. Sister in law, that is. S I L, Sill. Yep. And, and Mill, mother in law. <laughs> um, she likes to think it's mother I love, but yeah, it's mother in law for sure. Maybe it is. I do love it, but. You know, love's a pretty loose term these days. <laughs> <laughs> love your mother. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so we were out there and the kids were kicking the footy and, you know, there's a great play area down the back and an outdoor beer garden and everything. So, Pantheon Pub, check it out. Yeah, ripper. Out the other side of... Uh, out near in, King Lake. Yeah, in Pantheon. Pantheon. <laughs> out the other side of Warrandyte. Yeah. Is what I was trying to say. That's it, yeah. Um, Go to Warrandyte and keep going. Well past. Christmas lunch was fantastic, Al. Mm, it was. It was. Yeah, okay, right. so what are you cooking this week, more importantly? You've talked about all this beautiful stuff you've cooked down there. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Pork shoulder. I'm going to do a uh, pulled pork this weekend, doing a pork shoulder. Oh, got from Brendan. What are you going to do? Some tacos or something? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Right. I know what I'll do with it, yeah. Well, don't get too excited. We're just, just, a, I'm a, I'm we're just a barbecue company that is supposed yeah. to be promoting I'll you know, what, we, what we cook with. I'm and, doing a pulled pork and I might just throw it in between some bread and... Bit of coleslaw, oh, done. Brioche, nice little brioche. How can you like, go wrong? If you had the little brioche rolls that they sell at Coles, right? They're, they're just like a four pack for two bucks or something like that. Yeah. Coles branded brioche rolls. We've, we've been getting these burgers. I've been going up to a little place called the Australian Wholesale Butchers at, uh, when I can't get to Brendan's, of course. When I can't get to Brendan's, I pop up the corner <laughs> near my place in Baronia to. Australian wholesale butchers, and they're, they're pretty good up there. I bought a fair bit of meat from those guys for Christmas and that kind of stuff. I did get my porchetta from Brendan, which turned out beautifully. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. But I got a brisket, and uh, uh, I think it was a Cape Grim brisket, a ham, and a few other bits and pieces from Australian wholesale butchers, and, and we had those, and they were magnificent. Yeah. And um, the in-laws and family were raving about the brisket. Everyone was sort of, I'll take some of that home, the leftovers, you know. <laughs> oh, no, I, you don't. The next day, I've gone to get a roll. I said to Kylie, I might have some of that. Uh, I, I mean, the bride. I said to the bride, I might grab a roll and have some of that leftover brisket. It was like, yeah, well, good luck because <laughs> there is that one took it home. But anyway, there's no, plenty of leftovers there, which was good. So, nice. so we had that, which oh, was awesome. awesome. This week, I'm, hey, I'm all over it. I've got the Lego land. I'll tell you what, Ronnie's got it right. Brioche, smoked pork, and gravy. There you go. How good's that? Yeah, nice work, cuz. I um, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. The brioche rolls are that coals are sensation. Stick a stick a hamburger in them with a bit of coleslaw, and they they're, they're just the bomb. Yeah. So they're good. Hey, um, so I'm going to do a Lego land. I'm I'm going to try nice. out the Oak Joes. What are you doing? Testing for? I am. A bit of a trial run for Australia Day. I Just in case you don't want to stop we, we may be making a special appearance cooking somewhere soon. Why not? We've been invited and we'll talk to people more about that as we go along. But we, uh, Alan and I, will be completing our food handling safety certificates in the next week or so. Yeah. And um, we could be serving food somewhere close to you soon. Yes. Why um, not? So watch this space, but uh, there could There's be a few a, things this year actually that we're going to be. Could be a couple of works. Could yeah. be a couple of cookouts coming. So so watch this space, folks. And yeah, um, yeah it's good. So anyway, I'm going to do legal lamb. I've got the legal lamb. Beautiful. From Aussie Wholesale Butchers, and I'm going to do the garlic and herb paste version of that. And Yum. 
Sounds good. And I'm going to take the juices. I'm going to put a pan under. When are you doing that? Saturday? Yep. I might uh, come over Saturday. Then okay. and I'll do my pulled pork on Sunday. <laughs> all right, good. Sounds good. Sounds There'll good. be plenty there. <laughs> I'm going to put a tray under it to catch all the, the drippings. Nice gravy. And I'm going to make a gravy from Yum. the... the, the you know drippings. you need one of those things that I bought before Christmas. You know that... Well, that gravy the, thing you showed me. fat um, separator. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, no, he didn't. I forgot to do my lamb jokes. I've got to do my... All right, here we go. Anyway, guys, it was, no, 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 great, it was great being back in time. Hey, Al. <laughs> hey, Al. Yes, Peter. What do you call a sheep that's always quiet? What do you call a sheep that's always quiet, Peter? A uh, sheep. <laughs> These are dad. These are for you folks to, to to share with your kids and your grandkids. Somebody help! These are, these are crackers. And what do you? So call? we've got an opening at two <laughs> <laughs> This is a look up on uh, JobKeeper website. <laughs> Anyone looking for a job uh, got a job going for a part time comedian? Anyway, I won't get that one. What do you call a lamb covered in chocolate? What do you call a lamb? <laughs> a chocolate bar. <laughs> These are getting better. <laughs> oh, God, I cracked myself up. It's just as well, isn't it? Hey? Oh, anyway, hey. That's it. There was no? only two. Yeah, oh, yeah, come on. I, I could Thank go God, forever. I thought we were going to go forever. I could go forever, but I just thought, oh, yeah. I'll let you off. I'll let you off. It was all looking a bit painful. Brisket with honey mustard smoked. Mm, that sounds all right. PA needs a butcher's block two. <laughs> Maybe I've already got. That's terrible PA. I'll tell you what, oh, what a on, present. I'll tell you what, that which is blonde that I got for Christmas as well. I actually got really spoiled Christmas Day with a sign from Soups and then my sister and my lovely brother-in-law. Bucket of thumbs. 100%. This butcher's block, and I'll tell you, it's probably the biggest butcher's block I've ever bloody seen. It's honest. nasty. And it has it been so useful. Every time oh, I've done a cook-up. Your T-shirt's getting reprinted, and up there it's going to have B-O-T. We're going to call you Bot from now on. And what does that sound? Bucket of thumbs. Oh, here we go. So that's what we're going to call you now, Bot. Yeah. The old Bot. Anyway. I'm anyway. Moving. Right, hey. What hey, else happening with 2SG, Pete? Something Surely. super exciting, which you should have all seen by now, yep. on our Facebook page. If and you're rambling the, through the 2SG uh, page. Rambling through summer Christmas <laughs> promo, not Christmas, rambling through summer promo that we're running yep. right now. It's a drive to drive numbers up on our Facebook and Instagram pages. We've got 2200 pretty close to now yeah, on fb that, yeah. which is cool um and just before christmas on the last episode we were pushing it was literally to get the to last two episode we we're one person short at the end of the show of 2000 um yeah, literally clocked up when we um got back to the bar here before the whiskey got open so we banged through that there's another couple of hundred on board yeah which is great but in typical fashion we want to keep pushing this yeah, is a 100 this is a juggernaut we've only just begun yeah. so what you're seeing now is amateur hour what you're going to see in a couple of years' time will be um, much, 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 much sharper. Clear. Well, we might not a little be bit here. more professional. <laughs> might be someone else here doing it. But. We're going to try and refine <laughs> things a little bit and tidy it up for you. All yeah. right? So, but anyway, hopefully we're still here. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so we've got the rambling through summer promo. Jump on Facebook or on our website, and you can. I've got the links and everything on the website. Click on the rambling through summer link. Um, and if you're on our FB page, make sure you've liked the FB page and the Instagram page. Go to the post of Rambling Through Summer that we've got on our Facebook page. Like it, share it, and tag five of your mates yeah. on Facebook. It's that simple. This is about us driving more people to like the, the Facebook page. We get more exposure. We get to grow a bit. We get to improve what we're doing. Yeah. We'll do more giveaways and stuff like that Definitely, for yeah. you guys. As we, go, as we go forward, there'll be bigger giveaways and... This is, and it's more about we want to give more back. Yeah, 100%. Um, so we just want to keep giving back to you guys whatever we can. So yep. whatever we get in, we're going to keep trying to give it back. So the bigger we get, um, the better it's going to be in terms of giving things back. So Definitely. what's in the pack, L, is a Rambler. We've got a Rambler, yep. Uh, which is an more. Oklahoma Joe's grill, a charcoal grill. Yep. It's a portable one. So it's probably. A decent size. That, yeah. that, and three is about 15 yeah, kilos. Everyone so. can tell that when they're looking on, when they're looking on the about, phone, it might look pretty big. But about that big, but anyway, <laughs> it'd fit in the booty, boot of a Hyundai Jet. I'll tell you where it would look good, on the back of the jet ski. Flop on the beach. You might be a bit heavy. Smoke up some. Although I could do with it, I'm on. I know, smoke up some. Anyway, 
lamb chops when you anyway 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 all right so so that's the deal so get on there all you gotta do is like and share 2sg on facebook and instagram you have to find the rambling through summer post you have to like it share it and tag five of your mates yep. in the facebook page everyone who does that we will then at the end of february so we're going to run it up until the 28th of feb to a draw yeah well it's not a competition we are going to select we'll someone, select someone randomly yeah um to be the new owner of the rambling through summer kit yeah which is pretty exciting because we're going to throw man. we're actually going to throw in a 10 kg bag of charcoal kings fast burn charcoal which is perfect for that that machine yes, brilliant for it. and a um, two sg pack so temp up real quick you're going to get some gloves you're going to get the magnets so you know what temperature to cook to yeah. and most importantly you're going to get one of the super duper globally desired <laughs> 10 centimeter bumper, bumper sticker <laughs> I know Which everyone a, wants. That was a massive build up to that, but anyway, yeah. let's go. Um, massive for a 10 centimetre sticker. So, speaking of charcoal, our mate Silvio from Charcoal Kings was uh, on earlier, and um, we've I still. I you got, did actually call me Sam earlier as well. I did. Sorry, Silvio. Yeah. I called you Sam from Slum, Slum and Slow, but anyway. Yeah. And, and by the way, Sam, we are going to get back to you. We, I've got your email. I'm sorry I haven't had a chance, but I will get back to you. Um, so, we've still got. Some low and slow rubs. Yeah. Um, if you're after, they went, they went actually pretty well before Christmas. Oh, I mean, real good. Yeah, the yep, packs yep. Went really so well. we did some yep. packs, which was great. We're still doing the set of three for thirty bucks. Yep. So jump on the website, and if you're a two SG FB follower, stick in FB Live ten, and you get another ten percent off. So you yep. get three for twenty seven bucks. Three of the best rubs that you're going to be able to buy really on the market. That gentleman's blend, we'll which is the coffee one. Yeah. Which I went to get from a steak the other night, and I didn't have any. Yeah. Hey, I actually you, ran out the other night. I did the last of my short ribs the other day. Um, I was going to say to you, we had a discussion. I did some reverse seared steaks the other week. I got some porterhouse mm. and I reverse seared some steaks on my new uh, Rider Deluxe, which yep. is magnificent. And I overcooked them just a tad. Yep. Um, so I pushed the temps to, I want to tell you, 70? Yep. So I pushed the internal temp to 70, thinking I was going to get medium out, and then I seared them off, and it was a bit too much. I end up with probably medium well. Yeah. Um, so if you're doing reverse searing of steaks, take your steak, put it on either your barbecue or your you smoke, yeah. some source of indirect heat, no flame, no yeah, definitely. nothing to char grill. Sit it in your sauce or even in your oven. If you haven't got a smoker or a barbecue, yeah. stick it in your oven and um, some indirect source of heat. Stick it in there until the internal temperature, if you like medium, internal temperature reaches 60. I did See? mine, yeah, 62. I did mine the other night. Pull them out and then have your frying or your grilling plate, so whether it's a fry pan or your barbecue, turned up flat out, as hot as you can get it, and just sear both sides quickly yep. for a minute or two either side so that you've got that nice seared sort of thing on the outside. You're going to get probably the perfect steak. Mate, they were brilliant. I did some uh, ribeye steaks here. I might bone on. I'll take um, a lot. I've got Brendan's cut them. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what, they were about two, two and a half inches, these things. Bets has uh, been a bit short, or Soups has been, sorry, not Bets. Soups has been a bit um, short on her iron levels lately. So I'd um, load her up. I'd load, I'd load her up in one meal. Should have been lean. Um, Iron on. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, cook these up and, yeah, did them to six, I think it was 62. I got them internally. Yeah, wow. Whipped them out and then seared them. Perfectly them. medium. Spot on. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Hey, so. Um, and that was the last of my um, gentleman rub as well. That was the last of it. So I'll have to get try some, some. Yep. Yep. All right. Um, anyone got any questions? We've been having a look. It's an awesome package. The real McCoy of G'day, two Sam. Thanks SG for watching, mate. with better jokes. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Um, Sam Kimber, thanks for the support. No problem, Sam. Um, source low and slow rubs on our website. Jump on now and order them. Super yep. stuff. We uh, the spilt gin is great with white meat, with chicken yep. and that sort of stuff. And the uh, gentleman's is perfect with steak. Oh, beef, it's just. Kills and then it. the weekend yeah. is just an all-rounder, which is good yeah. on everything. Um, yeah. So I use the I've used the weekender on ribs a few times, yeah. um, and it comes up a treat. So I love it. But so there's that, and then don't forget charcoal. 
Um, with charcoal, we're doing the big 20 kg bags, right? So anyone that's got a charcoal cooker, if you're in Melbourne, I'm going to start a delivery run. Yep. And if there's enough people on a Thursday, Friday each week ready for the weekend, I'm going to go out on a Friday and do a run around and, and drop off bags of 20 kg yeah, nice. charcoal. So Beautiful. if you're up for it and you want to order your charcoal office regularly, jump on board. Um Tell us that you want to deliver it on a Thursday or Friday if you're in Melbourne. I can't do it in a state. Sorry, guys. Um, but certainly in, in Melbourne and, and some of the more sort of not too distant um, areas just on the fringes of certainly on the eastern side of Melbourne, I can handle that. Yep. Um, <coughs> mainly Metro um, gives the Ellen happy to do it. So um, Sam says, I have the perfect smoke and sear recipe I can send. Perfect, Shoot mate. It through, mate. Send Sounds it through. Good. We'll bang it up on the website and we'll give you credit for it um, and we'll get it out there. So the break was good. Um, we're back. We're refreshed. We're yeah, happy. We'll be back next week. We've had a few giggles. Yeah. Um, this Some terrible jokes. <laughs> oh, no, ripping jokes. Oh, come on. Oh, this bloke, I'll hopefully, tell you. Hopefully they get better as the weeks go on. Hey, so this was what, ep 13? Yeah, 13, yeah. 13, and we're aiming for, I reckon this year we want to get to 50. Why not? 50 is a good number. 37 yeah, episodes right. this year. Yeah, why not? What Sounds do you reckon? Good. Sounds like a plan. So I'll tell you what, if we're going to get... If you what? If not more. We're going to we're gonna have a party at 50. We should. We'll have a party at 50. Might do another chook-off or a... We might. Hopefully we'll by something, then yeah. COVID might be over. So what have we got? 37 weeks. Yep. You know, that's that's 10 months away. Yeah. Nine months away. Good over that. Hopefully we're, uh, we're freed up a bit. We might even open... Something up a little bit and invite a few more people in um, um, to do it. G'day, Carly. Like plan, yeah. uh, good to see you on there, mate. Shame you weren't on earlier. You missed all the good stuff. You missed my jokes. Um, you but, didn't miss anything, mate. I'll give you the hot anyway, tip. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, so don't forget Facebook. <clears throat> jump, yeah, on, jump on. Jump on. Enter the competition. Website. Get on place orders. FB Live 10 to get your 10% discount. If you want charcoal delivered, talk to me. If you want more information or you want to tell us what I mean, the thing is, it can't, might not even just be charcoal. Or charcoal, charcoal, you get chips, delivery if you want anything, chunks, like your chips, chunks. Gloves, yes. whatever. Yep. Just tell me what you want. I know that yours, yep, yours is all coming. So Yep. Yours um, is all sitting there ready to go. Evidently, homie loves a good chook off. Yes, he does, he does I'm mate. sure. And hi, Al. Um, g'day, mate. G'day, Cal. Maybe we should get the uh, Fiskers boys in. Ooh. They can do a bit of a cook off. The Fiskers cook off. That yeah. could be interesting. Bring in their own knives. We could have Bring German. In. Is it Indian? Carl. Indian yeah. with Rahul. Go curry. And a bit of Jewish food with honey. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what specifically. Hello. Jewish food. Is that Jewish? Hello? I don't know, is it? That's more than you, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's yeah, stop I'll pretending we know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, guys. Awesome to have you back. Great to be yeah. back here. Thanks, in guys. Front Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next Thursday. And in the meantime, yeah. we'll be back keep, talking lamb and, and keep, keep on smoking, smoking grilling, grilling, chilling. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Take care. Take have care. a great week.